Good morning, lads and lassies. Happy March 17th, 2022. It is St. Patrick's Day. Happy uh, St. Patrick's Day, all of you wildcats. We're going to have a terrific Thursday. All right, that's all I can do. I can't do the whole announcements in a fake Irish accent, but at this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance led by the boys and girls from Mrs. Thiel's class. Great job, second graders. Please remain standing for our moment of silence. Today is St. Patrick's Day, and it's a day we think about all the things that were lucky. You might be lucky that you have great parents. You might be lucky that you have an awesome teacher. But think about something that makes you happy and makes you think how lucky you are, and let's bow our heads. Let's bow. Great job, everyone. Please remain standing for our Wildcat Creed, led by Mrs. Thiel's class. I belong to the family of learners that will be trusted for the school. I will learn in this and be my future. I can be anything I want to be. I respect my mind and my body. I respect other people and their lives. I respect my mother. I promise to try my best. I will give everything I can today. Great job, second graders. You may be seated. Today for lunch in the cafeteria, we're having cinnamon roll with egg extravaganza, taco salad with tortilla chips, peanut butter and jelly encrustable. I realize I didn't have my list. Peanut butter jelly uncrustable. Um, seasoned potatoes, fruit, and milk. We've got one student celebrating a birthday today. A special happy birthday to Isaac Ping. Be sure to stop by the office for your birthday surprise. All right, make sure we are taking good care of our Chromebooks. Make sure we're charging them each night. Um, there's gonna be some changes in the computer lab after spring break. And one of the things Miss Steve was telling me is that a lot of kids will bring their Chromebook and chargers during computer lab time and charge. Um, all of those outlets that are around the wall will be coming down. And so um, if you charge it during computer lab time um, after spring break, that probably won't happen. All right, make sure you have your bus lanyard. It's how we get in and off the bus safely. It's how we make sure we pay for our meals. It's how we make sure we check out our books. So make sure you are using your bus lanyard each and every day. Tomorrow, boys and girls, is the last, the final, no more days to buy a yearbook. If you do not purchase it tomorrow, we might have a few available after spring break, but not very many. So I would suggest tell your moms and dads that tonight's the last night, and if you don't buy it tonight, you probably won't be able to get one. All right. Um, I'm a little sad. Um, yesterday, we have some teachers out. We have some teachers who aren't feeling well. And so we have substitutes. And I had some friends um, who are just being disrespectful to our substitutes. They're putting their hands on people. They're being rude. They're talking back. And I know for a fact you wouldn't do that if your teacher was here. If your teacher was here, you would follow directions. You would listen, show kindness and respect. And my expectation is that you do that even if your teacher isn't here. So if you were one of those kids yesterday who was in a class without your regular teacher and you were rude or disrespectful or putting your hands on people, I hope you do a better job today. If you were a kid who your teacher wasn't here and you were kind, you were helpful, you were polite, thank you, set a good example for the rest of your teammates. Remember, our Wildcats are fierce, our Wildcats are ferocious, and they make good choices. If you were not a Wildcat making good choices yesterday, do better today. If you were a Wildcat making good choices yesterday, keep it up. Remember, Wildcats are fierce, they are ferocious, they are respectful. Make it a great day, Wildcats. The choice is yours. Bye, everybody.